Stocky is Symbolista, Reese Bell, long and lean, wiry. There is a lot of power on display there by Symbolista. Nice cheap kick to get us moving here by Bell. I wouldn't be surprised if the game plan of Reese is to fight distance. We can see Symbolista straight away. Fantastic takedown by ends up. Shots to the back of the head, needs to be careful. And the referee is involved because of the shots to the back of the head. Referee Aaron Wallace jumps in there. Does the right thing, takes, yep. takes the position away from Symbolista. Aaron Wallace is a referee you do not want to mess about with the Vanilla Gorilla himself. Symbolista seems to be almost smiling. What a swing. Both gentlemen swung for the fences there. That's a big body shot. Oh, beautiful work from Reese. Timed the takedown beautifully. Anticipated the momentum of Symbolista. Now lands in side control. And obviously Symbolista being so heavily muscled, you wonder how sustainable his charge is because the, the blood needs to pump quicker to get oxygen, in, oxygen around those muscles. It might be within the best interest of, of Reese Bell to, to implement this kind of grinding style, try and drag it into the deeper waters. Absolutely, I think Bell is doing the right thing here. I noticed Symbolista has a slight tendency, and this is only the first round, it could be initial nerves, but he t tends to go for a squeeze rather than a, a technical maneuver initially. Mm. And that's not gonna serve him well as this fight gets longer. Bell also has done a great job of taking Symbolista down in his corner, taking him away from his head coach. I'd like to see him a bit heavier there, because not applying his weight is allowing him to move his hips more freely and he's got an E in between them there now. Oh, Excellent work. Beautiful work from Bell. Symbolista just hanging on right now. He needs to get to a hip, needs to try and shrimp out. Just as I said, that does a great job. I don't think that was an intentional shot. He did up kick him in the face. However, it was his second foul with NA in the first round. I don't think it's inconceivable that a point could be taken here. I don't think it's inconceivable at all. I think you're, you're on the mark there. I, I'm a Whilst I doubt, I very much doubt there was any ill intent. No, I don't, I don't think there was at all. Yeah, I think that was, was completely unintentional. Rea it's, it's reactionary. It was purely reactionary to try and get yeah. to his feet. However, he wanted to push him away as fast and as hard as he could, and yeah. in doing that, he wasn't right on the target. But when you take it, when you take in the context that that was his second unintentional foul, and we're still within the first round of a fight, it'll be interesting to see what decision referee Arn Wallace makes here. So he has five minutes to recover, if he's going to continue. And the fight oh. is off. He's I unable to continue, unfortunately. I don't know if we're going to be looking at a DQ here or a no contest, given that it was the second foul. I was mentally trying to bring up the rule set for what happens now. The crowd showing their displeasure with an early end what could have been a tremendous matchup. Sometimes, in this sport, when it's so kinetic, that's just the way it goes. Yeah, exactly, when you have two opposing forces colliding, and like anything can and will happen. As I say, you're getting boos here from the crowd. They're obviously supporters of McCluskey. I think they need to, for one, and lack of a better word, wind their neck in a little bit. It wasn't an intentional foul. Yeah. This happens in mixed martial arts, and you either deal with it or you don't. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by disqualification.